Hey guys, Xup Masters here, and the second trailer for the LEGO Ninjago movie just dropped. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've learned from this trailer. Now the main takeaway that I've got from this trailer is that it seems like Garmadon is actually not going to be the main villain. There's a lot of scenes where you see Garmadon teaming up with the ninja team and Lloyd, which is very interesting, and there's points where he talks about what appears to actually be the real main villain, or even the ultimate weapon, Meowthra, which is a cat, which you can see is actually controlled by the ultimate weapon or laser pointer. So it's very interesting to see that, because he does seem to acknowledge that they need to stop it, and as they show many different clips in terms of just Wu talking and being like, we gotta assemble a secret ninja force, are you ready to fight for Ninjago? And they show clips of Lloyd and Garmadon instead of just Lloyd and the rest of the ninja. So it seems like Garmadon is actually going to at some point in the movie switch over to the good side, probably after he loses the initial battle to the ninja and Lloyd. That seems like the most ideal time when it is revealed to Garmadon that Lloyd is indeed the green ninja and he is his son. There's, I feel like at that point, you know, that's where there's going to be a point where there's going to be a conflict and Garmadon is going to have to end up joining the good guy side and fighting for good. We also learn a little bit more in terms of just how the character is and just how things are going to be working in the movie, with Lloyd being relatively more of an outcast, which, you know, it's stuff we didn't know. We knew that Lloyd would be kind of an outcast because Lloyd's identity as the Green Ninja is not actually known to the public, at least as far as we know. This could change later in the movie, but as we know right now, all he is known as is just regular Lloyd Garmadon and that he is the son of Garmadon which is you know the worst guy ever everyone doesn't like Garmadon because he ruins everything so you know that is a little bit of a conflict that he's gonna be having to face we also get a little bit more of an in-depth look at what the ninjas life are like just in terms of their high school and you can see you know all of them running in the hallways and it seems like they have a direct connection to Wu in some way through their lockers because there is of course that point in the trailer where they all go through the lockers and kind of go down somewhere so you know it'll be interesting to see just how this stuff plays out but the main thing they take from this is that Garmadon does not seem to be the main villain. Now as for my thoughts on the trailer, I actually really enjoyed the trailer. I thought it was pretty cool. It's nice to see a little bit of flashbacks in terms of Garmadon and Masako, how they sort of met, got together, all that stuff. And you can see more of just the regular life of the ninja, which is nice. It's more stuff that we haven't seen before. We get better looks at vehicles such as the Garma Mecha Man and the Lightning Jet, although I would still like an even nicer look at the, at the Lightning Jet. There's just a lot of cool new stuff that we got from this trailer and a lot of little secrets. But yeah, really the main takeaway for me though is that Garmadon does not seem to be the main villain. But again, you know, it's gonna be, it's, we're gonna have to see how it plays out in the movie. Right now, it does not appear like he will be the main villain. However, I wouldn't be shocked if like somewhere down the line that switch is gonna be very interesting. There's just a lot of, a lot of just possibilities that they can go here that we just won't know until the movie is officially released. And last but not least, uh, we could see a lot of actual sets, or future sets maybe, in the trailer here. We get a better look at the Quake Mech, of course, which is nice. We got a better look at the actual Piranha set, the uh, Piranha set that is rumored for 2018 that we initially saw in the video game trailer. We got that in the trailer, and we get a little bit of a look at the Volcano Lair, which is nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this quick video. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.